so today we are going to make fresh pasta. And we're going to do it with a stand mixer and by hand. We're not going to use a pasta cutter or anything. Actually, it's quite doable. You can even tear the pieces in. Um, so, up to you how you want to do it, but today we are going to do this. Well, hello there. And so, we're back with this week's Time for Joy. And what's not to be joyous about with fresh pasta, right? Um, my times for joy, if you haven't figured out already, are usually a stream of consciousness. And on times when I'm doing my own thing and walking and finding my own peace. This week's been kind of challenging for me, actually. Uh, lots of things going on, but nothing. You know what I mean? It's one of those weeks where there's much to do, but, well, not much income's coming in. And doing this is actually keeping my mental state in above water, so to speak. Look, it's by no means bad. I'm just very conscious and very aware of it. And I keep tabs on it. And I think it served me well to be mindful of my conscious state, uh, my, my mental state. <clears throat> the thing is, if I let it slide too much, it has, it, it's, it's just difficult to dig myself out of it. So rather than let it slide, I'm very aware of it and address things as they come up rather than wait till it really slips down to a point where I'm like, I have to, I, I want to climb into a hole and not do anything. In any case, that's not the case here. Our friend Toffee is exploring I don't know if you can see her, but there she is. Her happy place is sniffing other dog's poop. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, I think she's become the channel mascot, actually. I've got to, like, feature her at some point more often. In any case, uh, today's topic is about letting go of stuff that doesn't serve you anymore. Uh, whether it's people, or it's things, or attachments. There are certain things that I process, uh, certain relationships that I will work myself to the bone about. There are certain that I won't. I will actually just let it go in many different ways. Either I tell the person, or I just let it slip into oblivion. <clears throat> In this particular instance, this week was challenging, partly because of the whole furor around the 1975, this rock group that came to Malaysia and caused a ruckus amongst the LGBT community. I'm not going to get into the news of it. If you, if you want to check it out, just Google the 1975 LGBT Malaysia. Those keywords should pull up an article or two. Long story short, this isn't actually about them because uh, they will do what they will do, right? Uh, it's about the ensuing Twitter reactions. And when I joined Twitter in 2008, 2009, I had 2008, it's just after mum passed. In 2008, Twitter was actually an optimistic place. It was a place to share ideas, think about things, promote your businesses, um, and generally be, you know, a human sharing your life. Social media, after all, that's exactly what it means, correct? It's now become a place where people just hate on others for the slightest reasons. Come, We have to cross the road. For the slightest reasons. You don't like a word? Oh my God, you get 
cancelled. You don't like the imprecise phrasing, even if you belong to a particular community that you purport to support. Um, they scold you, basically. They yell at you. They call you names. They, they, oh my Lord, look at this boy. Look at that boy. He's a big fella. Is that a Bernese? Is he a Bernese? Bernese. Bernese mountain dog. Amazing. I hope I caught that. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm actually at the point where I'm going to let go of Twitter. And that's basically what I mean. Um, I have learned that my character, my personality is not one that actually likes to let go of stuff. I'm a bit of a sentimental, sentimental sod, if you want to call me that. Um, it's hard for me to let go of things and people. And, but looking at Twitter, I think it's going to be an easy, easier call because well, I don't have that few people. I mean, I've got close to a thousand, I think, followers, but I don't do anything on Twitter. I don't share any business. There's no, there's no point to my Twitter account besides being friendly with my friends. Um, so, and there's so many other options now. So, you know what? Talking to you, I think I'm just going to let it go. But yeah that's the point of this time for joy we need to learn to let things go and sometimes it just means that we have to process it rather than take the first feels that comes along uh think about it what does it serve you it's not a logical thing but is it really helping your mental health are there other ways of doing things are there other ways of relating to people? Do they help lift you? Does it help lift you? If not, yeah, I was going to say, but no, let's keep this PG. I don't want to run afoul of the YouTube algorithm. And so, yeah, that feels good. Okay, time for joy let things go that don't serve you love you all until the next time for joy enjoy fresh pasta oh and please subscribe like and click the notify bell for the next time i come on usually i come on about three times a month i'm trying to increase that frequency with shorts uh, but yeah three long posts a month come and join us Start with 255 grams of all-purpose flour. 255, 255, 255. If I don't repeat it, I do tend to forget what the number is. Almost. Ah, damn it! <laughs> it's become a bit of a sport. <laughs> so that's 255 grams of all-purpose flour. If you've got type zero zero flour that's the one that's traditionally used for fresh pasta but don't feel constrained um, all-purpose flour is fine I've also made it with bread flour personally there is a little bit of a difference it's a bit tougher um, all-purpose is a little softer and type zero zero is the most tender pasta that you get it's a very very fine grind basically that's it make it well Two eggs, whole eggs. Ooh, I should break this. Actually, it's good practice to break it into a bowl because you really don't want a bad egg in there and then waste all the ingredients. Okay, so I always crack eggs together and only one will ever break. One. Ooh. Boy against the flat surface. Two. Whoa! That's a, That's a double yolk. No, it's a twin. 
Yeah. I've never seen that. Really? In real life, yeah. I've seen three as well. Oh. But two, two is still unusual. It's yeah. still unusual. Yeah. Okay, so two goes in. No, it isn't. Oh, the weight of the yolk is about the same. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So now four yolks. This recipe calls for four yolks and it actually makes a richer, yellower pasta. The fat actually makes it more tender. Oh, okay. I think. I got it. Yeah, it's going. This egg is going. Thank God I used the bowl, otherwise that would have gone into my pasta mix and all that would have gone. Okay, good looking. One. Two. Three. Four. And we're done. And then we need to add in a teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon. And into the mix. Turn it on on a slow to medium. And we'll just leave that to go for a bit. At some point, you're going to have to like scrape the sides too so don't forget to do that and a sip of coffee while waiting Shake, rattle, and roll, damn it! Get together! Don't do this at home, kids. Pity your poor machine. <laughs> I'm just impatient. <laughs> So, one thing about my mixer, it needs a bit of a service because the dough hook actually doesn't um, touch the uh, bottom of the bowl. So, what we need to do is give it a little bit of a knead. But in any case, here it is. This gorgeous golden pasta dough. And you see how stretchy it is? That's exactly what you want. Okay? It's almost done. So, what I'm going to do now is just, and if you've ever seen pastry chefs, especially bread chefs, who take it with their fingers and then chuck it on and it's this beautiful even coat of flour, I still can't do that. So it's a sieve for me. <laughs> yeah, very generous with the flour. Don't worry if you can't use up all the flour. And if you look at that dough, it's slightly glossy. That's exactly what you want. Oh, this looks gorgeous. This is going to be a beautiful pasta. And with fresh pasta, you actually just cook it for a minute or two and it's literally a minute or two and it's done. Okay. Let's scrape this out so we don't waste any of it. And, oh yeah, it's very nice. If you if you touch it, it's tacky, but it doesn't really stick to you, see?
Good. Don't worry if it's slightly sticky, because once you add the extra flour, you'll be good to go. Good. All right. Pull the bracelets up. Get into your stance, or as the Cantonese say, da ma, and then knead it. Pull it up. Use one hand to hold it, stretch it, and just give it a good knead. And if you look, it's all coming together. What's that song? It's all coming together for me now. Or is it that Broadway musical from Jekyll and Hyde? This is the moment, this is the day. <laughs> so pretty much this is the moment when it all comes together. <laughs> After this, we're going to give it a well-deserved rest and then we will finish it up tonight when we make it for dinner. Don't worry if you can't use this flour. You can use it again later to just dust it. It's not wasted. Oh yes, and there it is. Slightly tacky, and that's exactly what you want. Done. I try not to use, I try not to waste cling film, but it gets really, really annoying when it gets to this point and it won't stay in the container. We can put this in the fridge. Again, floured generously. Oh yes, I need a rolling pin. Rolling pin. Cut it into one, two, three. I think let's do it into six. La. Be easier to manage. Yep. One at a time. Ooh, could you explain about this? So, this contraption, <laughs> I've got a Tupperware here with a lid. I just wanted to hang the pasta once I'm done with it. So that's basically it. These are chopsticks. I've just laid it out and it makes a good temporary <laughs> pasta hanger. Okay. Hopefully this works. We're not going to have terribly long noodles, but that's fine. And as you can see, if it's smaller, it's just easier to handle. Otherwise, that's like too much of it. Okay, you still have to layer and do this um, so that you get strength. Got a bit ambitious, you should always flour. Actually, let's do it this way, right? And that's actually quite a good thin piece of. And for doing it by hand, it's not too bad, even though there's like a couple of. It's creases in it. You can redo it if you want. Yes, it's 
now it's beginning to feel like it. Pasta dough is about feel. Okay. So flour generously because this is the moment of truth. We are going to... We are going to fold it so that we can then... Um, Cut it. <clears throat> Don't fold it too tight because then pressing it down will mean that you're actually um, so cut it narrow if you want fettuccine. Or linguine. You know, I have never learned the difference between those two. <laughs> now you can do this individually or just drop it in. It's just, it's really just a way of holding them separately for a little while. Or you can just flour them really well and let them sit. Although I think this is better because I've done that before. And if you leave them for too long, they tend to stick. Do you think it's because we're um, in a humid Yeah, we are absolutely, that's absolutely true. So here we go. Hopefully this works for each roll because if that's the case, it's one roll per stick. See, this one's a bit broad because I cut it broad, but hey, it's good. And we've got <clears throat> fresh pasta. With still enough space for a little bit. Okay. So just do the rest? Yep. Just do the rest and we're good to go. So again, we've got to roll and fold for a few times. about a couple of minutes and we're done with the pasta and it's done friends are ready to eat outside that's why you're hearing all of the noises because what is better honestly than having a couple of friends over and eating some home-cooked food This looks, actually this looks really good. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, we need to taste it for salt. Oh, and the pasta water's thickened it up. Oh, that's beautiful. Hmm. Need salt? going to even bother with cutting it. Go. Basil's always a finishing herb. Don't cook with it. Because otherwise it just the flavor just evaporates.
some people are going to get some very big pieces, but that's fine. It does look good. It does look good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I was like, uh, Done yet. <laughs> you came just at the right time. Yeah, I know, bloody fool. <laughs> <laughs> Someone got a workout. Got a workout. It's always advisable to eat fresh pasta really quickly. Mm. Mm. There's a nice bite to it. The texture is excellent. And I can imagine this is an aglio olio, anything like a carbonara. Mm. And thank you so much for watching the channel. And please subscribe and like all my videos because it'll help it to grow. Thank you. Bye.